namaste capricorn sun moon rising venus welcome back welcome if you're new i am so foolish girl i'm so happy to be back i miss you guys so much we got an intimate love reading for you with some sweet questions that you need to know about your partner so let's get into this love reading question number one what does this person want to say to you this could be something they've already said this could be something that you just been feeling intuitively or this is something that they're going to say to you okay what so this was the hardest lesson i needed to learn i was out of control okay so it seems like someone wants your forgiveness that's what i'm getting from that card what else do they want to say to my dear capricorn okay <laughs> I'm going to put a ring on it when the time is right. Okay. <laughs> so maybe uh, I'm kind of getting if there was like if you gave them some sort of like ultimatum or maybe you told them you need a break or something like that. Wow. Whatever this boundary that you created, okay? It could just be a boundary that you created. It has made this person want to put a ring on it, okay? If you're already married to this person, then there was a hard lesson that they need to learn. And maybe they're going to get you another ring. Maybe they're going to upgrade your ring, all right? Let's see what else do they want to say. Whatever the case, they definitely want your connection to work. Truth is, I'm in love with you. So maybe this person was hiding their feelings. Maybe they were playing hard to get. So boring sometimes. <laughs> Truth is, I'm in love with you. So if they haven't told you that, that's what they're going to tell you. And if you've been doubting that lately, I'm hearing, I don't know why you're doubting that. Maybe you want something from them and they haven't given it to you yet. But yeah, that's so cute. So for some of you, they could be dropping the L word when you least expected. Something about you being there with them during hard times. I'm also getting that like you've been with this person through like the ups and the downs and it's just like I was out of control but you always seem to be there for me or have my back you know that I'm, I'm getting that really strong let's get one more for Capricorn what do they want to say then we're gonna check out their intentions The grass wasn't greener. I regret my actions. I'm a fool. Okay. So what do you say to that? That is, <laughs> I mean, sometimes you got to find out, right? Sometimes you got to find out. And then sometimes you got to find out the hard way. Are you willing to forgive this person? Because that's what this sounds like. Are you willing to forgive them and let them come back in? your energy and vibe with your frequency after they went out there to see if the grass was greener i don't know it just depends but they are in love with you nevertheless i want to see what their intentions are their current intentions like in the next six months to a year okay a year. okay this person they're gonna come they're gonna come correct with you 
they're gonna come correct with you because they kind of know that you are about your business here with this queen B. okay so they're gonna come correct their current intentions i like that they're gonna suit up all right <laughs> um you confuse this person or this person could just be confused all on their own so in the next you know what currently i mean i guess their intentions are they're, they're pretty much trying to figure it out we got dreams here their head could be really up in the clouds when it comes to this connection like they're they might be telling you one thing and doing another so just kind of be weary of that if that is the case okay um something about them something that you that you dreamt about them i'm hearing that's also going to come true um we do have child here so i don't know if they're like planning to have a child with you or they want you to have a child or something about child is coming through their current intentions they could be wanting to just be lighthearted in this connection like not too much drama you know capricorn you guys might be getting a lot of interruptions there's been a lot of interruptions in your reading just stay focused no matter what don't let someone kind of and also for some of you that's a confirmation about them wanting to possibly have a child with you also here with this dreams don't let them sell you a dream okay don't let them sell you a dream Hmm. My zone. They're going to share something with you from their past as a test to see how you're going to handle it. So whatever this is, you might find it to be kind of childish here with this child card. You might find this to be kind of childish, but they are going to share something with you. And they just want to see your knowledge, your wisdom. Are you able to handle yourself in certain situations? I do feel like something. there's something about your dreams coming true with this person for some of you, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have quality time. So they are wanting to get to know you on a deeper level or just getting to be alone with you, period, even if you've been with them. Quality time, if they've been working, if there's been distance, they want to spend more time with you. They want to be in your energy. That's on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so let's just kind of tap in and see how are you feeling about the situation? Who is this person? And how are you feeling about them? Yes. Mm, okay. This definitely is someone who, you know, they're a lot of fun. And I don't know, maybe, maybe you want to, this person could be really good in bed. Okay. Let's just get that out there. Right. Right there. Okay. <laughs> um this person's a passionate lover but you also kind of feel like is there really long long term you might feel like this person's not the settling down type you might feel like you can't really take what they say too serious but they are incredibly attractive they are really hot and they do seem to be like in the know of what's going on what's trending um this could have been someone that you walked away from aries leo sag sometimes you'd be feeling like this person's not really getting where you're coming from not giving you enough attention hold on what's going on and then all of a sudden out of nowhere they're like all nurturing and loving and kind 
so it's kind of confusing it's like maybe when you spend time with this person you're enjoying the time that you're spending with them and then it's like it doesn't last long you know and you're like thinking about how things could be but you want to get it out of this page energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn Libra Taurus energy Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy on the bottom of the deck I feel like maybe maybe one of you have walked away yeah it's just like with this person it's almost as if like you can't really trust sometimes like what they say or what they do you could feel like they could be a bad parent or something like that if they if they have you know um other ch children or something outside of your connection um or maybe they just don't give enough time to themselves but yeah there is something you feel like sometimes this person could be a little conniving okay but it's like You're worried about this person's finances at times, okay? That's really what it comes down to. It's like, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. I'm trying to sum it up. I'm trying to make it sound pretty. You let me know what's going on, okay? Capricorn, let's see. How are they feeling about you? How are they feeling about you? For some of you also too, you could feel like there's some issues with their mother. Like maybe like you get along with their mom, but they don't like it. Or you don't get along with their mom and it's like they're in between you and their mom. Okay. That's just for some of you. Let's see. How are they feeling? How are they feeling about you? You probably have been spending some time away from them. Okay. You've probably been like distancing yourself not really giving them too much attention is what i'm getting i did just see the hermit card some of you could be dealing with a virgo if this emperor comes out one more time like i am so over this emperor uh, but i'm happy for you guys because it seems like a lot of you guys are getting your divine counterpart this person wants to go from being a knight of wands to an emperor in your in your life, okay? Um, let's just see how are they feeling about you. Wow, I just realized this. We do have divine counterparts. Look at that. Can I make this stuff up? This is this rarely happens, by the way. So we do have the emperor and we have the empress. You guys are mirroring each other's energy in the most positive, blissful, romantic way. I'm loving that. So yeah, they feel like you're, <laughs> I mean, wow, you're the one. You are the one Capricorn, that's how they feel. I'm just letting you know you're the one you're number one yes they do not want to share you at all with anyone aries energy taurus virgo capricorn energy they don't want to share you and honestly they don't want to talk about it they really want you to understand that you are theirs because they're in love with you i think truth is i'm in love with you the grass wasn't greener because Everyone wants to be the empress and everyone wants to be the emperor. It's plain and simple. So he found his match and I'm saying he, so for some of you, this is a really strong masculine energy coming through, a really strong male, okay? So how are they feeling? Wow. Ace of Pentacles. They literally feel like they won the lottery in love when it comes to you. I'm hearing like, I would give you the world. I would give you anything that you ask for because you don't ask for it. I am hearing that 
for some of you. That's not for all of you. Okay? Just style step with your situation. You get what I'm saying? Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Right? But, yeah. It's like, I would give you anything. This person could even be thinking about moving in together, getting a home together, giving you a, a huge... Oh my god, yeah, the ring. I'm gonna put a ring on it. Yes, in the beginning of your reading, guys. Yes. Okay, that's dope. I love it. Let's see. How else are they feeling? Let's get one more. Then we'll get into their thoughts. What are they thinking about you? Wow. Okay. I feel like they feel as though the ship has sailed in the past with like old way of doing things old lifestyles that really brought you know discord in your connection or caused this person to have any sort of setbacks you know they just want to be in some sort of tranquil energy they just want to be free right and they don't want to miss out on any opportunities that they get to spend time with you okay don't be afraid to ask this person for help if you need it i'm getting that message because i feel like they would help you out if you need something right so let's see what are their thoughts my dear capricorn what are their thoughts what are they thinking what are they consciously aware of that they're thinking be something they already said they're going to say to you or that you just feel intuitively about your situation what are they currently thinking especially if you guys have been going through a tough time right wrongful advice okay they could be thinking about marriage they could be thinking about settling down they also could be feeling like they don't want to move too fast when it comes to that and they also could feel like for some of you that maybe you they're just worried about you getting bad news about them they want you to trust them yeah they want you to trust them and what they say and they want you to believe that they love you so if you've been feeling like you don't trust this person, that's the message coming through. I lie awake at night thinking about our future. Yeah, they do think about you. They think about you long term. And the reason I'm saying this is because of this card right here. I'm going to put a ring on it when the time is right. There's another card here that they were thinking in the beginning truth is i'm in love with you so this person is definitely in love with you they lay awake at night thinking about ways to tell you that they love you if they haven't told you that they they are planning a future they do want something serious with you if there's any distance or you haven't spoken to this person in a while anything of that nature it's like I'm in love with you. I'm thinking about you. So hopefully you've been in contact with this person and you guys are planning something and you're, you're able to forget this person if this is your desire. Because remember that we are always creating our realities by the thoughts that we are thinking. Okay, so let's just see what else are they thinking about you right now? We have some devil energy, so they're definitely, um, <laughs> they're feeling kind of chained and bound to you. We got, I am obsessed with your body. So they, your body, listen, I would just say that your, your body got them up at night. Your body got them, okay, <laughs> tweaking in the middle of the night <laughs> when they get home from the club. Like what? I'm just saying. I live, I'm obsessed with your body. This is obsession. This is obsession. This is also obsession. You maybe want to do bad things. You could get this person really, really, really jealous, okay? Be careful with that. You make me want to do bad things. Um, I'm going to say, if you know that this is a situation you're not supposed, this is a forbidden situation, that's on you, okay? <laughs> 
walk the walk, talk the talk always, all right? So anyway, you make me want to do bad things. You definitely make this person, you put them in some dark devilish energy. Like they're extremely attracted to you. I don't know what they want to do, but it is sexual and it is intense, all right? So <laughs> what else are they thinking about? When it comes to you, what do you want? Okay, so they know that they're in love with you. They could be waiting for some sort of response from you. What are you going to do? So it's like, yeah, I'm obsessed with your body. I want you. I don't want you listening to your friends. I want you listening to me. This person does kind of sound a little bit controlling as well. So you let me know. What you think about this person? You let me know what's going on. Let's get some advice from the love angels. Let me know if you decide to deal with them after they went and checked out that the grass was greener. All right? You let me know, Capricorn. Let's get one more. Advice. There we go. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Like I said, if this person is able to help you out with anything, go ahead and ask them. They want to be a friend. They want to be there for you. They want to support you, okay? And also, you have your friends also. Don't be afraid to share with your friends. But I, when I do see this card, I also see this as a warning sign. Don't be telling your friends about your problems that you don't like about your person and then you like your person again and then your friend is like oh but you told me this shady stuff you don't have to tell your friends every single thing that's like very negative about your situation but also ask for and accept support from others so if you really just feel like you need this person to do something for you or anyone around you they will do that you have support you don't have to do things on your own you could definitely be seeing signs and synchronicities when it's the right time for you to make a move when it comes to this situation that's the wave that's the vibe capricorn namaste